What? What? Huh? Huh? What? Am I a wrestler? Or am I here to work out? Am I Conor McGregor? Or am I here to work out? Am I Michael Jordan? Because he also tucked his shirt in and he's the GOAT. So yeah, I'm team tucked in. Actually, my shoes match my top perfectly. I just got these in the mail. And I always forget to, get, to give you guys the names of my stuff. So I started leaving the tags on. This is Bold Drop Armhole Tank. Chalk blue, size large. You know what I'm talking about? Bottoms are uh, performance board short. I'm wearing board shorts to the gym. Huh? Huh? Roundhouse. Roundhouse, you never know. I'm gonna be working out today. I'm excited, as you can tell, because we're going back to one of my favorite splits of all time. We were chest back superset. Now, now, here's what we're talking about. And I'm all pumped up because I've been arguing about who's better, LeBron or MJ. If you say LeBron, unsubscribe right now. Actually, don't do that. We can still be friends. <laughs> so the workouts. We were back, chest, high volume, German volume. Right now, we're micro-loading, doing a micro-loading cycle. So, cycle. A micro-loading cycle. No, not steroids. And what we're going to be doing is push, then a pull day, and then a leg day. So this is going to be our next split for the next three weeks in the fitness culture app. So today I got bench press, working all the way up to 290 for eight. I got a push day. So big heavy bench press, big heavy shoulder press, and then back to dumbbell bench press, dips and cable incline chest flies, barbell skull crushers and lateral raises, dumbbell French press and dumbbell shrugs. Then we got some occlusion band training. So this is a super fun way. We've been doing 10 sets of 10. We're switching it up a little bit. And then after that, we got farmer carries plus burpees. So we're gonna get a little bit nasty at the end of it. So it's gonna be an awesome chest pump. Gonna get some shoulders and triceps in. Let's get it done, huh? Two foot kick. Let's go. You always see those crazy people at the gym, like the crazy old guy who has his headphones in and he's just like not paying any attention to anyone else. That's me right now. And I feel like doing muscle ups. So I'm just gonna see if I can string I think the most I've ever done is eight. So if I can get nine, I'll be happy. Four. Five. Six. Can we get 10? One more. Uh, woo. Uh, I almost really punched the camera there. I'm warming up. I'm just thinking about the Netflix documentary we watched last night. Or no, not Netflix. We watched Free Solo. And it inspired me. That's why I was able to do 10 muscle ups today. I'm training to be a climber. I didn't want to tell you guys this, but I might as well announce it now. I'm planning on going up and then back down, free soloing. El Capitan. Alex Honnold, you're gonna be number two, my man. It's from 10 muscle ups to being hang, able to hang off a cliff for four hours. All I gotta say is that was such a cool documentary. If you guys haven't watched it, watch it. And also watch Maru, it's another climbing one. Jimmy Chen, crazy, crazy awesome art, artist, video, videographer, cameraman, everything. So. That was my inspiration for those muscle ups. He, he's actually also inspired me to sell my house and live in a van, just travel the world. Be a whole hell of a lot cheaper. Eating mac and cheese every night, just going gym to gym, training. I don't know where Alec is gonna sleep. Where are you gonna sleep, bro? I'll pitch a tent. I'll pitch a tent. Very Australian of you, mate. That's because we're gonna be living in Australia, right? <sighs> Oh man, <laughs> there's no chance in hell I would camp in Australia unless right. I'm in a, in a van. I've right. seen pictures. When I was in Australia last time, somebody got a picture with me and then they showed me. They, were, they went camping, tent camping, woke up in the morning, unzipped their tent, went to step out, 12 foot python right outside their tent. Well, nope, yeah. nope, nope. Not for me, bro. Not for me. Major bench press progression going on here today. I'm working with percentages of one, my one rep max. So first one's gonna be eight reps at roughly 67% of my one rep max. And the reason we're doing this is to get used to overloading. So we're gonna get used to using heavier weights. This first one shouldn't be too much of an issue. Um, the, the tempo on it is basically one second down, explode up, 
So we're not doing a lot of time under tension. It's just controlling it enough to where you're not dropping it, controlling, keeping that chest high. And then on the way up, always thinking about trying to close with my elbows, trying to close as much. My elbows are out here, I don't want that. I'm gonna to try to close and squeeze, keeping that chest nice and high. It does me no good to start performing reps with my shoulders like this. Nice and high, pressing the weight up, trying to squeeze with my elbows. Obviously, my hand placement's gonna be wide the entire time, but my elbows are gonna to try to be touching. They're not going to, but that's what I'm thinking. What we got out here? 260, 260? Somewhat easy to do. I could have probably done three more reps on there if I had to. So I got 150 seconds here. We're in the watch today. 150 seconds, then we're back on it. Left about two in the tank there. Back on the clock. We're not messing around today. Hobbs is waiting at home in his kennel, so he needs dad to get back. You know what I'm saying? I was 72.5% of my one rep max. Two more sets. That'll be the last set I get without some help. So, I got one more set, that was my fourth. I'm doing five sets here. We're gonna go up another 10 pounds to 300. And I gotta get my eight. Perfect, woo! I just smoked my chest. That's the swole program. New, new micro cycle here. One thing I'm doing, one thing I'm doing on everything, full range of motion. I think before, and I even started noticing when I went heavy, you start shorting up your range of motion. You start forgetting those little cues like trying to squeeze with the chest. You can't help but use your chest when your elbows touch. So I start as I, old habits die hard. Elbows wanna start flaring out instead of doing this. Hit my sternum, so on everything I do today. Really focusing on full range of motion all the way up, all the way down. Don't wanna short change myself. That's the number one mistake I see people doing in a gym. Um, when it gets heavy, they're sacrificing a little bit form for weight. And it's natural, we all wanna be strong. And there's something too, moving a lot of heavy weight. But there's also something going full range of motion all the way in, mind-muscle connection on everything we do. Keep that in mind. Yeah, I'm, I'm holding on to this Australian tan a little bit too. I'm holding on to this Aussie tan. You know what I'm saying? I think it's this lighter color shirt. They, they said these were swim trunks. I don't see, I mean, besides the tie in the top, I don't see how they're swim trunks. Yeah, enough with that shit. I got a bench. <laughs> Heavy movements or compound movements out of the way first. So we got multi-joint movements, obviously. This and the bench press includes shoulder and elbow. We got one more big compound movement. We're gonna be doing a incline dumbbell bench press. And then we're gonna move on to some auxiliary type movements. Some isolation movements, some shoulder stuff, a little bit more chest and then triceps. So long push workout today, but come on. If you don't enjoy training chest, shoulders, and triceps, what are you in here for? Four sets of eight here. 
a little bit fatigued from all the pressing. Anterior delt, I think we can handle hundos. Three more stuff. Coming off those weeks of 10 sets of 10, slow and controlled, it's hard just to go back into a fast moving movement. I also, as you can see on the way down, I'm gonna go more of a neutral grip just so I can get a better stretch. With these dumbbells, because they're thick, I just keep them here in a pronated grip. I'm not gonna be able to go down as far because they'll hit my chest. So here allows me to clear my chest and then back up. I got four supersets, or four sets of supersets. Starting off with a dip. Dip's gonna try to really work this outer part of the chest. You go down, stretching all the way, coming up, lower outer part. If you don't have a dip machine, you can substitute like a decline press, and then we're gonna go high cable flies. The goal on this one, really concentrate more on the stretch at the bottom. You don't really have to lock out. We're not hitting triceps right now. So really stretching the chest, squeezing. Straight into cable crossovers. This is really our isolation movement. So I'm gonna go almost well, a supinated grip on here and just keep it at nice and high. We got 15 reps. So the most reps of any exercise today. I have no idea how many reps that is. We're gonna run. No, we're not, like, we're actually gonna run. Straight up again. That was my weight that just banged. Sorry. What are you, under stream or I know. I was looking for the gym owner to tell him I was sorry when I banged that weight. When I looked up on the wall and I saw my name, I was like, oh shit, I own this gym. Is that conceited? Hell yeah, bro. That's that Kanye shit. As you can see, we're supersetting skull crushers. It's a little unique skull crusher. It was a little bit light, so I added in a skull pr crusher to a close grip bench. 15 reps, and then over here, lateral raise. And just the goal is go a little bit higher than parallel, and then all the way down, keep the arms as straight as possible almost. Like, not locked out, but right there. I love, literally, I literally, Love the super set. My elbow and my wrist almost in one straight line. The list the wrist will be a little bit in front but it should not be here, almost all in one line. So they should be coming here, or coming here, all nice and straight. Time for the next superset. First set, we got seated, overhead dumbbell fringe press for the triceps, getting that long head. Always gotta do something overhead for triceps with dumbbell shrugs here. Fifteen, twelve, ten are the reps here. So Fifteen, twelve, ten on the shrugs too. Pausing half second at the top. All right, last exercise. Yeah, it's occlusion band time. So what we're gonna be doing? Fifteen, ten, ten, ten. So what that means? Fifteen reps, ten seconds off. Ten reps, ten seconds off. 
10 reps, 10 seconds off, 10 seconds, and then 10 reps. 10, so 15, 10, 10, 10. So a total of one set and then three drops, and then you're gonna rest. Don't take your armbands off at any time during your drop sets or anything like that. You can take them off once you've completed one entire round. So 15, 10, 10, 10, with a 10 second break in between each set. That is constituted as one. We have three rounds. Ten seconds off. I'm gonna tighten these a little bit. Ooh, buddy. Ten seconds. Oh, the pain in the arms. It's so good. Ugh. Oh. 90 seconds. Oh, feel that blood rush back to your arms. So good. And you should have massive triceps by the end of this. So much blood in there. Shake your triceps out like you're Arnold. Sometimes love don't. All right, I got cardio. I'm gonna go get a protein shake and I'm gonna do my cardio. You guys are gonna watch that though because it's boring to watch people do cardio. So I'm gonna sign off right now. Thank you guys for watching this video. Chest, shoulders, tricep. It's a push workout. We'll be back next time for a pull workout. Speaking of pull workout, did you guys watch at the beginning? Give me a thumbs up for this video for doing 10 muscle ups. And make sure you subscribe. Smash that like button. Am I a YouTuber yet? I don't know, but we have other videos. You guys should make sure you check out those out. They're right here. And then also check out Fitness Culture for all your training. I'm out.